Police in South Carolina are looking for a gunman following a shooting at a church in downtown Charleston Wednesday night. The deadliest attack on American Jews in our nation's history. A gunman with an automatic weapon has opened fire on a mosque in Central Christchurch. A series of racist incidents at Syracuse University. A disturbing spike in anti-Semitic Eighth attacks. incident we've seen in just a week. White supremacist manifesto allegedly spread around campus. A man walked into a rabbi's home and began stabbing people. A surprise. After what we went through, they still feel anti-Semitism here. They're not supposed to be there. We've had 13 acts of anti-Semitism since December 8th in New York State. We've had incidents of hate all across the state against the LGBTQ community, against the African American community, the Latino community. We are home to 19 million people from every nation on the globe. New York State is the laboratory of the American experiment in democracy. We are not threatened by diversity. We celebrate diversity. Let us join hands one with the other and let us say to the world, we believe in New York. We are all in this together. The people of this state and this nation see that hatred, discrimination, and acts of violence are detrimental to our progress and injurious to our peace. We look back to those troubled days in order to assure that we can look forward with confidence, that it doesn't happen again, and that the world not remain silent. Government must do more than just offer thoughts and prayers. Government must act. And let's pass the first in the nation domestic terrorism law to include mass violence motivated by hate. I want our schools to add to their curriculum a lesson that teaches our young people our civic values and our history on diversity and that a fundamental premise of this nation is religious freedom. And today, the state is going to make an additional $45 million available to non-public schools and religious institutions for security. Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity all teach one premise, that the strongest four-letter word is not hate, but is love. We've seen them across the nation, but these Acts of hate must stop and end in the state of New York, and that's New York at her best.